This video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to wixfilters.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment, and welcome to Fleet Equipment's On The Road! Yay! Okay. All through December, we are touting our top equipment trends of the year. Last time we crowned a heavy duty truck equipment trend of the year, and this time we're looking at all things vocational. Vocational. Ooh. That's right. We're talking medium duty. And this year's medium duty truck equipment trend of the year was. <music> Electrification! Cool. What is that? I'll tell you, this year was the EV's year in the work truck spotlight. And I mean that literally. The vast majority of the work truck show press conferences this year focused on new battery electric offerings from both established medium duty brands like Hino, Mac, International, and Isuzu to new nameplates like Workhorse, Lightning E-Motors, the Shift Group, and Ryzon entering, or re-entering in Ryzon's case, the North American market. Now, while the range of work truck applications falls well within the approximate 100, 150 mile, 200 mile range offered by many of the manufacturers, the segment offers unique EV challenges like ease of upfitting and the need for a PTO. Customization was the name of the game. Ooh, you mean like just for me? That's right. Suzu, for example, offers four battery pack options for its N series EV trucks. Three battery packs give you a range of 41 to 80 miles. Five battery packs give you an approximate range of 68 to 130 miles. Seven battery packs gives you 95 to 180 miles. And nine battery packs gives you approximately 120 to 235 miles. Big deal, my car has one battery. You're gonna need more than one battery. Now, International Trucks showcased an International EMV battery electric medium duty truck that sported an EPTO. What is that? It's an electric power takeoff that supplies bodies with the needed power. On the show floor, we walked around a model that sported an EPTO with a variable frequency drive motor that has an SAE B flange that allows it to supply 40 kilowatts, which is approximately 55 horsepower continuous, or 60 kilowatts, which is about 80 peak horsepower. Now, the EV headlines weren't contained to work truck week. Most recently, Freightliner announced the start of production of its EM2. Now, the EM2 is built on the Freightliner M2 106 Plus platform and features an integrated battery electric Detroit E powertrain. There will be a Class 6 and Class 7 variations available. Look, the big takeaway is that electrification is coming to the medium duty market. But the big caveat is that just like in heavy duty, charging infrastructure remains a question mark. Charging sites need to be able to accommodate commercial sized vehicles when they're out there working on the road. And even then, some of those job sites can be remote. Still, there's plenty of movement on the battery electric technology front for these vocational workhorses, and we expect to see even larger presence of EVs at 2024's Work Truck Week. All right, that does it for the medium duty trend. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the previous heavy duty equipment trend of the year video if you missed it, and stay tuned for the next video where we crown the trend in truck technology.